everybody. In this video, I am going to um, show you a, a bunch of alterations I need to do, and I am going to kind of go over the prices of these. Now, pricing is very touchy with certain people. Um, some people figure it out by like how much thread they're using, how much time does it take, what is what kind of is the alteration. I don't do that. If I have a certain amount, if it's a if it's a big job, then I have to take into consideration um, how much time it is. But I also I'm really hesitant to really charge people a lot of money. Um, there is an element of um, competition with myself, I guess, but that goes like with my hems I $15 a piece some people say that's enough that's not enough and some people say it's too much but basically I don't want to do it for less than $15 so I'd rather someone take it someplace else than for me to do it just because of the time and, and whatever so I'm going to show you what I have to do I'm going to tell you my pricing on it this right here they want me to sew this back on and I'm going to charge $5 for it why? because $5 is the cheapest I'll charge. Okay, so this right here, this came undone, and there's a little bit here. And I might do this for like $8, only because you have to kind of go in and open this up, or I have hand sewing, and hand sewing always gets charged more. So I can probably do a hand sewing here and close that up, as well as that. So eight bucks maybe for that maybe ten just depends on uh, what I run into with that this close this up it doesn't seem like a lot five bucks though because my time is my money so here I have a pair of pants that need to be hemmed for 15 and 15 so that's 30 35 48 48 dollars for all of these before I get started, I just want to apologize for my voice. I have um, the flu or something, and although it's leaving my body, it has not left my voice, apparently. So I'm going to talk softly, try to, so that um, I don't stress my vocal cords too much. So. Um, what I wanted to talk about is I, I got a pile of alterations I um, am doing for my daughter-in-law. Now, I don't charge my family anything for alterations because they're family. And we just kind of do for each other all the time. So I don't charge for that. But I thought it would be a good idea to talk about how much these would cost if a customer came to me. Now, um, there, the reason why I'm talking now is because I wanted to clarify something because I often misspeak when I'm recording because I've got so many things going through my head. Now, there is a sweatshirt that I'm working on and I tell you how much I, I charge for that and it's $5. It's literally like three inches of a straight seam of uh, stitching. And I wanted to clarify that if I got the garment on its own, just someone gave me a sweatshirt, sew this three inch seam, it would be $5. If so, I, I quoted it as five in the video, but if I get it in a pile of other work, I might charge $2 for it. Because it is so hard for me to charge people money, um, I cannot ever let anything come in as free because it's a slippery slope. I am a people pleaser. I just like to make people happy. I like to give them a good deal. And it's a struggle that I go through often. So I have to have my price list and I have to stick to it. And when someone texts me about, I need some work done, I always give them the price ahead of time. So they're not a surprise. So I just wanted to clarify that um, in the video, I said five, but I didn't clarify that was it would have been a little bit cheaper. So um, there's, I didn't get to finish the video because I ran out of space on my phone and I'm going to have a timer at the end of the video so I can show you, this is the work I'm doing. 
this is how much I'm charging and um, and I'll show you the time at the end now in here I priced the pants at $15 a piece but I had forgotten to um, count in that one of them had to be tapered now my first instinct would be it's just a little bit let's not charge them anything but like I said it's a slippery slope and for me if I start like not charging oh it's just another five or ten minutes or it's just another and then it could end up being a lot longer or I feel like it's only going to be 10 minutes but it actually takes me 30 minutes because I'm not really good judge of time you know you work a lot faster in your mind than you do actually working so um, now some people might feel like um, I don't charge enough and that's another thing I am constantly challenging myself and what I mean by that is I will charge you $15 and it's whether it's a cuff it's a two and a half inch non slant hem or a two and a half inch slant hem or uh, doing your um, hemming with the original hem because I challenge myself when I'm working how fast can you get this done let's see if you can get you know you got 10 pairs of pants done in an hour last time let's see if you can push it to 12 let's push it to 15 then I up the amount of money I make per hour so it's just how I am I like to challenge myself I like to learn new things I like to get better I maybe assess that's my perfectionist side I'm not sure and it might work better for me to like not be that way and just start charging according to the job I don't know I feel like it all balances out in the end so um, yeah I, I try to give people a good deal without hating myself in the process it took me a little over an hour to do those alterations and so not correcting anything that I had laid out in the beginning it looks like $48 for an hour after editing this video and seeing how I price things and seeing how I've observed other people pricing things I think I want to do a part two where we can talk about pricing because there are so many things to consider when pricing your alterations some people will just do like a mathematical thing where that wouldn't really work for me because I don't have the workflow that someone who is established and has a storefront and there's advertising and people drive by and see them that they would have so there's more to consider so if you guys are interested in that leave a comment in the comment box if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks I'll see you in the next video bye